एम एस रामया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हाई स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट अ सिंपल ओपन लूप एंड क्लोज लूप पोजिशन कंट्रोल ऑफ ए डी सी मोटर द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड कंडक्ट एन एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन अ सिंपल ओपन लूप एंड क्लोज लूप पोजिशन कंट्रोल ऑफ ए डी सी मोटर द एक्विपमेंट रिक्वायर्ड और ओप एम्प यूनिट अटिनेटर प्री एम्प यूनिट सर्वो एम्प्लीफायर पावर सप्लाय डी सी मोटर इनपुट पोटेंशियो मीटर आउटपुट पोटेंशियो मीटर एंड रोडक्शन गेयर टैको यूनिट लेट इज डिस्कस अबाउट द थियरी बिहाइंड दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ट्रांसड्यूजर्स मस्ट मेजर इनपुट एंड आउटपुट शाफ्ट एंगल्स एंड प्रोड्यूस ए सिग्नल प्रपोर्शनल टू शाफ्ट पोजिशन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट पोजिशन कॉल्ड एर सिग्नल इज यूज टू ड्राइव द मोटर In open loop system there is no feedback therefore we have to identify the amount of error manually and then correct it in closed loop system feedback is present so that the error is corrected automatically to find the position of the shaft the connection diagram for a simple open loop position control of a dc motor is as shown the connection diagram for a simple closed loop position control of a dc motor is as shown the procedure of a simple open loop position control of a dc motor experiment In this part using the connection diagram the connections are made first then one student should slowly turn the knob on the input potentiometer and set it at any value in the range plus or minus 15 volts let the other student watch only the voltmeter connected to the output v0 and by turning the shaft to other rotary potentiometer read the zero value on the voltmeter notice the position of input and output potentiometers try suddenly changing the position of input cursor while attempting to keep the error at zero decide a position you wish the output potentiometer shaft to turn to and stop then starting with the attenuator slider at fully counter clockwise position gradually rotate it till the motor just rotates as the cursor nears the required angle reduce the input signal so that the cursor comes to rest nearly at the required point repeat using increasingly large input signal adjusted by the attenuator the procedure of a simple closed loop position control of a dc motor experiment this time we shall utilize the error signal output v0 of the operational amplifier to drive the output potentiometer via the preamp and motor connections are made as shown in the diagram with the gain set to 0 adjust the preamplifier 0 so that the motor does not rotate now set the input potentiometer to 0 and increase the attenuator setting The output shaft should rotate to an angle nearly equal to zero. If the output cursor stops before arriving at the set position, increase the gain and get the correct alignment. Repeat the same procedure for different input values to find the different positions. Hi students. The name of the experiment is a motor-driven simple open loop. and closed loop position control system the operators required for this experiment are the power supply uh, as you can see in the front panel uh, this has a power on off switch and then an ammeter to read the current and then two sets of plus or minus 15 volts dc supply this is one this has plus 15 and then the ground and then the minus 15 and this is another one this is plus 15 terminal and this is ground and then this is minus 15 terminal and then it also has two sets of ac supplies here one is this one and another is this one here this one will give 18 vac 1 ampere of supply and this gives 9 vac 10 milliampere of supply the servo amplifier this is the servo amplifier unit this has transistors to drive the motor in either direction and this also allows the feedback hence the name servo as you can see there are two inputs to give the feedback and then this has the terminals to connect the supply also as you can see this is uh, the plus 15 volts and this is minus 15 volts terminal and this is zero volt terminal this unit also has the terminals to monitor the voltage and then 
another terminal to monitor the current. Another important one is this has a multi-way connector which is of 12 point. The DC motor. This is the DC motor unit. This unit contains a DC permanent magnet motor which has an extended shaft and on which can be fixed the magnetic brake or inertia disc. The shaft extension, this shaft extension which is supplied unassembled, usually this will be unassembled, it is already assembled here, should be fitted to the motor shaft and secured by the two 1.5 mm, these are 1.5 mm allen screws. It may be then be left permanently fitted like this. A reduction gear taco unit. This is the reduction gear taco unit. This contains a speed reduction gear box with a ratio of 30 to 1 from the high speed input shaft to the low speed output shaft. As you can see, it has four terminals on the front panel uh, to connect to give the supply of plus or minus 15 volts. And then it has other two terminals like TACO RPM and then DC volts. The TACO RPM terminal is used to measure the TACO speed and this terminal DC volts is used to measure the voltage. This switch switches between the TACO RPM terminal and then the DC volts terminal. These are other four terminals these are used to give the, the TACO generator output to other sections of the control system. And another important part in this unit is the display. This is used to see or to monitor the TACO speed as well as the DC voltage required to achieve that TACO speed. A attenuator unit. This unit contains two variable 10 kilo ohm potentiometers. As you can see here, these two knobs are actually graduated from 0 to 10. So what we can do, we can vary the resistance till 10k and then the different resistance values can be taken by using these sets of two sets of terminals here. A op amp unit. This is another important unit for this experiment. Uh, the unit is the op amp unit OA150A. This unit helps in giving the feedback what we will uh, see uh, in a closed loop control system. This has as you can see there are three in, uh, terminals here one is plus 15, 0 volt and then minus 15. These are used to give the supply to this unit. And then as you, there are three inputs here where I can give uh, the different uh, input signals to this op amp unit. One may be the feedback signal, uh, another may be, another will be the input signal which is to be controlled. And then uh, there is another uh, very important switch here. This is the feedback selector switch uh, where for this experiment I'll keep this knob to 100 kilo ohm. And then there are two outputs here. I can take two outputs. Usually one will be utilized from these two. And then uh, there is another knob, very important knob here. This is a zero set. If there is any offset voltage or some output uh, from this unit, that can be bring back to the zero by using that zero set. Or you can reset this unit by using the zero set. And then there are other two terminals to connect external feedback. These are those two other uh, uh, connect uh, terminals to connect the external feedback. Uh, input potentiometer and then an output potentiometer. Input potentiometer and output potentiometer are very important for this experiment. Input potentiometer as you can see it has uh, two terminals to give the supply and then this is the output. The pin number 3 is used as the output. and. Even output potentiometer has two terminals to connect the supply and then the output part terminal 3 will be the output. See these two have rotary potentiometer as you can see there are dials here 
I can move these dials. This is the infra in uh, the input potentiometer. This is used to give the input. I can say when I dial the when I rotate this, the input signal will come to uh, the other part of the system. And then this is the output potentiometer. potentiometer. This is used to uh, find the position of the position of uh, the uh, the, uh, the shaft or shaft of the motor or some object which is connected to that shaft. And these two potentiometers have uh, buffer amplifiers uh, with unit gain so that if there is any overloading problem or some short circuit, nothing will happen to uh, these potentiometers. That is, that means uh, uh, damage will not, there will not be any damage on to uh, these uh, systems. And another important thing is, this doesn't have any mechanical stops. As you can see, there are no mechanical stops. So that uh, there is the, the no problems of uh, uh, mechanical setups and uh, the problems due to that mechanical stops. And then the connecting wires. And these are the connecting wires. These are used to do the experimental setup to connect between different units of the system. According to the connection diagram, now we shall place the different operators uh, of this experiment. Now we shall place uh, the operators. The first one is uh, the power supply. As we already know, these things, uh, these uh, different parts of uh, uh, the feedback systems, what we have has, have uh, the magnetic plates so that we can place these uh, operators easily onto the uh, metallic platform. Then uh, I'll take this uh, servo amplifier, I'll place it here. This, these can be adjusted uh, as required and then uh, I'll place this uh, attenuator unit here now I'll place this uh, DC motor and then uh, the reduction uh, gear taco unit this is for uh, a measurement it will display the RPM I mean to know about the speed of rotation and then the voltage utilized for that to attain that speed and then here you can see I'm placing this and connecting the, the DC motor to the reduction gear tackle unit using this hexagon coupling you can see this hexagon coupling here using this uh, we have to place this properly this is very important uh, uh, thing in uh, this experiment in these experiments especially when you are using feedback modules then you should be careful while connecting uh, these uh, motor and reduction gear unit another thing is now i'll place uh, this uh, input potentiometer here now and then i'll place uh, output potentiometer and very important thing is using this hexagon coupling I'll couple this output potentiometer to the reduction gear tackle unit here. This is another important step here. We have to follow this step uh, because this is to identify the position. The output potentiometer will indicate the position of uh, the rotation actually. At what position uh, now the motor is there, I mean uh, the object which is connected to that motor shaft is there. That can be easily identified and then this is the op amp unit. Uh, I'll place it here. Yes, I can place this uh, op amp unit here. Now we shall start the connections. First, uh, we shall connect this DC motor to the servo amplifier. You can see here uh, this is the multi point plug here. Using this multi point uh, plug, I'll place this. I'll connect this here now. as uh, already you saw in other experiments we will connect this here and then uh, this is another important connection I uh, will connect this another important uh, connection this is between the servo amplifier and the power supply I will connect this uh, through this multi point uh, plug here and then I uh, will connect this uh, power supply also uh, the power, power cord to the power supply then I will take the connecting wires there are some other important connections here. Now I have to connect uh, the power supply. I have to give the power supply to all the parts of this uh, system. I will connect this. You can see here this red wire. 
I have connected this to the plus 15 of the power supply and then uh, this blue wire will go to the minus 15 and then the ground I will connect this to the first important thing is I have to connect this I have to give the supply to the reduction gear taco unit this is plus unit plus 15 and then this is uh, the blue wire I will connect this to minus 15 and then the ground now we have completed uh, this uh, connections to the reduction gear taco unit now I'll take this uh, connecting wire you can see here this red wire I'll place this uh, red wire to this plus 15 and then uh, the ground I'll connect this here and then the blue wire I'll connect this here and then this red wire the other, the other end this will go to uh, this op-amp unit plus 15 and then I'll connect the ground and then the blue wire you can see here this blue wire it will go to this minus 15 so we have completed the power supply to the op amp unit and then another important connection is uh, I have to give the supply to the pots also and then to the attenuator that's another important thing now I can use the power from this servo amplifier also now what I'll do I use uh, this servo amplifier uh, to give the supply to the attenuator that's good idea now what I will do I'll connect this zero to this end here this pin am terminal 3 of the attenuator you can see here this terminal 3 this will be one end and then uh, from here I'll take this plus 15 and I'll connect this to other end this will be terminal 1 of the attenuator here now what I did, I have given the supply to the attenuator. Now this varies between, as you can see here, this varies between, this part varies between 0 volts to, you can see here this 0 volts to 15 volts. So this is from 0 to 15. If I vary this knob, its resistance varies from uh, this end to this, I mean there is 10k part, it varies, starts varying from 0 to 10k. So I have connected the supply between the 0 and 15. Then. I'll take the output of this and I can use the output of uh, uh, the attenuator as this 2, terminal 2, you can see here this terminal 2, this is the output actually, this output is given to one of the input of this feedback servo amplifier. Now I'll connect uh, the input potentiometer and the output potentiometer, I have to give the supply to the parts. So what I will do, I will use this uh, terminal 1 of the input potentiometer and I will give the plus 15 volts of the power supply from this terminal. You can see here this uh, red terminal here, so I will connect that to that one. And then the terminal 2 of the input potentiometer it will go to uh, this negative minus 15 of this one, minus 15 of the power supply, you can see here this is a connection and then uh, I have to connect and the supply, I have to give the supply to the output potential meter also. Now what I will do, I will give the, I will use this uh, terminal one of the, one of this and I will connect this to the minus 15, the power supply, minus 15, you can see here this minus 15, to that one I will connect it here and then uh, I will connect this terminal 2 of this output part to the plus 15 you can see here this plus 15 of the power supply so we have given the supply to the input part input potentiometer and then the output potentiometer now I have to take the output and I'll give the output of this input 3 you can see here uh, this is the terminal 3 this will be the output of uh, this input potentiometer and I'll give it has one of the input signal for the op amp unit this one you can see the terminal 1 here to the to that I'll connect this one and then uh, as you already know this is open loop the output of uh, this one output pot potentiometer output of this one will go to the other input of the op amp unit so this will compare this the input what I have given and this one I'll compare this and I'll give rise to an error signal that error signal has to go to uh, this display here. I'll take another connecting wire. 
Now I have to give this error signal. I have to measure this error signal actually because this is open loop. I have to measure this error signal and I'll give the, give the I'll connect this to uh, this uh, reduction gate taco in it, which gives the uh, voltage also. So we can read the amount of error signal what we'll get by knowing that error signal. I can identify the amount of uh, amount for which the object has been moved. The object has been moved or uh, the position of the shaft of the motor. This is the idea behind this open loop uh, system, open loop position control system. And this completes the connection of uh, the simple open loop position control system. Now we shall start the experiment. Uh, before starting, I'll switch on the power supply. You can see uh, using this power supply, uh, I'll switch on this using this switch. The important thing is because of this is open loop, you can see already it's showing some voltage here. You can see that this is around uh, minus 2.48. It's already showing some voltage. What I have to do is exactly it will not give the position now. So if I want to know the position, I have to vary this input part actually. But this is because of this is uh, open loop. Even if I vary this, I will not get exact uh, what's that position of uh, this one, a uh, position of that shaft actually. So what I will do, so if I vary this, see this, if I vary this, the voltage is reducing. Now what I will do, by using this, I can bring this back to zero. Yes, uh, it's almost nearer to zero. Yes, uh, that's zero nearer to zero. Yes, this is point 0.1 or point. Okay, that's around the point zero 0.01. Now you can see here the position. What this is showing is, uh, you can see here it's uh, exactly at uh, 30, right? This is 30 degrees, right? So this is zero, and this is exactly it's around uh, 30 degrees. It's showing. So what I will do now, using this attenuator. I'll queue some supply to the motor now. Now I have to check uh, the position, motor driven. So what I have to do, I'll give the supply. So you can see for some degree it's uh, rotated. Now the reading what it's showing is uh, 2 point, the output what is the error signal, what it is showing is around uh, 2.16. You able to see this, this is around 1.26. Then what I will do, now I will vary the input part. I will vary uh, this dial now, so that you can see here, if I am varying this, you can see there, that exactly the voltage is reducing. Now what I will do, I will bring this back to the same point 1 or 0. Yes. Now it's around 0 0.03 or 0 0.1. If I check uh, the input part position, now you can see this is uh, exactly uh, 30 uh, what uh, 30 degrees. What actually uh, that one already shown. So now you can see there is some difference. The offset between the output part and then the input part is exactly around 30 degrees. Now this is showing around 60 degree, and this is exactly at 30 degree. So what we observed here is by using by knowing the error output uh, from these two we can easily identify the position of uh, the shaft uh, the position of any object which is connected to the shaft of the motor. What we saw is it's around 30 degrees but open loop is a little bit uh, difficult because it doesn't have any feedback. This problem can be overcome by using closed loop control system. After completing open loop, now we shall connect, uh, according to the connection diagram, now we shall connect the closed loop position control system. Now we shall start closed loop uh, position control system uh, which is motor driven. Now uh, for this we are adding another important unit uh, the pre-amplifier unit. This is used for compensation. Uh, what you observed uh, in open loop is uh, there is a mass offset, right? That offset can be removed. That for that offset, we are using a compensatory circuit here. Uh, this is the pre-amplifier unit PA150C. This has, as you can see here, 
this has uh, a plus 15 uh, terminal on the uh, ground terminal and then minus 15 terminal they say these are used to give the supply and then there are two input signals as you can see there is a summing symbol here what this shows it will add these two symbols these the signals from these two terminals this is one and two and then i can give the taco feedback also so by, by using uh, this terminal and then these are the outputs and this is a normal position uh, normally it will uh, work as uh, helps in uh, summing the uh, signals between this one and two and then uh, there is another thing called as ac composition this is for composition for ac component and then it's already there is some defined gain for that also uh, this can be used now i'll place this uh, free amplifier unit here and then uh, <coughs> there are some uh, changes actually from uh, in the connections i have to give the supply before changing that i'll give the supply to uh, this uh, pre amplifier unit now we shall uh, give the power supply to the pre amplifier unit this is the red wire i'm taking this red wire and uh, i'll connect this to the plus 15 of this power supply and then uh, as usual the ground so there's a ground wire this block wire uh, i'll connect this to the ground the center terminal here i'm connecting this to ground and then uh, this uh, minus 15 this blue wire i'll connect this to this terminal and then the other ends will go to the preamplifier unit the red wire has to go to this plus 15 as usual and then uh, the crown the black wire i'll connect this to zero and then uh, the uh, minus 15 this is uh, the minus this will give the minus 15 volts so I'll connect this to uh, the blue terminal here. After connecting uh, the power supply to the preamplifier circuit, what I will do, um, I have to change uh, these two. This is the terminal is what you can see here in the output uh, potentiometer. What I will do, just this was given to actually the minus 15 and this was the plus 15. I'll interchange these two. Just as you can see here, I'm interchanging this. I'll connect this to two and this to 1. Now this is plus 15 and this is minus 15. So what happens when I sum these two and I give the inputs to the preamplifier unit it will take the summation of these two so that the feedback will be uh, proper. That's the idea behind interchanging those two. And then now uh, other important uh, change what you can observe here is uh, I'll remove this plus 15. Uh, what we saw in uh, uh, open loop so this will not be there i'll remove this see this i'll remove this plus 15 and what i'll do i'll bring uh, this one this uh, zero i have taken zero to 15 right so what i will do i'll put this zero to this terminal attenuator this term, terminal one you can see i'll connect this to this terminal and then what we observed in uh, open loop is this one we are using uh, this one for measuring the error signal we are measuring the error signal and we are uh, finding the position but here what i will do i will have to use this as feedback now what i will do i will remove this just i will remove this like this and then i will connect this one i am using this as reference now what we did actually previously we were doing we are taking zero as reference in open loop now i am using this as reference for this uh, this 10k part now this varies between the error signal and then and then the zero here so what we observed here is i have to nullify this error if there is any error in between i have to reduce that so that I, the control action necessary control action can be is achieved and it can be achieved by using uh, this thing by just by changing these two connections now i'll change this one the output of actually in this case uh, we are giving uh, in open loop uh, we, are give, we are giving uh, the output directly the output of attenuator directly to the feedback server amplifier but here that is not the case what we will do i will connect this uh, output of attenuator to the compensator circuit this is pre amplifier unit 
this will become the input for uh, this uh, pre amplifier unit and the output of pre amplifier units this one you can see here the number 3 and then 4 the output of uh, the pre amplifier unit will go to the input of you can see here the input of servo amplifiers the important thing is what you observed here is I uh, chain this one uh, connected instead of connecting this to uh, the feedback uh, servo amplifier here what I did just I chained this output of attenuator and I connected this as input for the uh, pre amplifier unit and then what I will do just I will change uh, these two the output of these two will be connected to the input of servo amplifier so that we can see some feedback now I'll, what I will do just I will change and I will connect uh, between this one and then I will use those two as inputs uh, now uh, this, this length is actually very short for that what I will do I will connect like this and then I uh, will use this 3 input 3 this is output 3 of this preamplifier we will go to the input 1 and then I will take another 2 wires because these are short uh, I can use like this so this becomes lengthy now now from this 4 this will go to the other input here now you can see here uh, there is connection between uh, the input 2 and then uh, the output 4 of the pre amplifier unit. So these two are important, very important. This works as feedback. The, so this comes from the pre amplifier unit uh, to, uh, to the servo amplifier. Now this complete the connections uh, for uh, a simple closed loop position control system which is motor driven. Now uh, we shall see the operation how this works. I will switch on the power supply is in this switch here. Now I will switch it on and now you can see the motor is rotating while right, it is more rotating in uh, uh, some uh, both the directions like this. Right, as you can see here uh, the important thing is now whether we have given the fed block it is uh, this is the actually the thing what we observe here is how the error is uh, varying actually in between. Uh, this uh, uh, the signal from uh, the input potentiometer and then the output potentiometer here there is feedback also so that this action we can see we will observe these type of actions when uh, there is summation happening ok then what I will do now you can see here there is already uh, some indications in the output potentiometer here there is already some indication but the input potentiometer you can see here this input potentiometer now it's indicating zero but already this is showing this output is uh, output port is showing some uh, position over there and this is because of uh, that uh, offset uh, because of that offset and the preamp from the uh, op amp circuit what we are using and then what we can see here is when i give the input when i change the position of this you can see here i'll change the position similarly you can see there is change in the output of output from uh, the output potentiometer see that see I am rotating clockwise but this is rotating in anti-clockwise direction but that is also indication indicate, indicating this is also indicating uh, the position of the object but in other uh, direction what I can do to change uh, the direction of this now what I will adjust, I will change the uh, inputs, the supply what we have given to the input potentiometer. Now the plus has given to, this is the plus has given to the one terminal and then the two terminal is, goes, is going to uh, the negative. Now what I will do, just I will interchange this and uh, we see, see I am interchanging this. Uh, that is uh, speed of motor is because of uh, the only the feedback from the output potentiometer. Now I change the input of the, the supply given to this input potentiometer now you can see here how it is indicating the position I am varying the input see this input part is varying you can see observable change in the output part which is the indication of the position as I rotate this this is also rotating see this when I rotate this this is also rotating so you will change this now it is coming back you can see here I am changing this this is the indication of position so it depends on the error of error signal 
from that and the feedback given by the given from the output to the input so that there is feedback so what we can observe here is in closed loop there is direct indication of the position but in open loop system we are taking the voltage and we are observing the position but here directly we can see the position the change in the position now in changing the position here you can see there is change in the output potential meter but there is little bit offset and there is a continuous rotation of the motor like this and turn for motion of this this can be avoided by using other type of uh, control systems like pi pd and pid this completes the experiment at msr uas we spark your imagination unlike any other